Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sagar Sahu and welcome to Vet Surgery Diabetes. So today I welcome you to another anesthesiology lecture class. So today we will be studying about the benzo diazepines. Okay. So before going to the video, please subscribe to this channel if you find this content very helping. Then you can also share among your friends, juniors or seniors, okay, because 70% of people are not still subscribing and watching the content. So please subscribe and also you can connect me in Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I am not much active in Twitter, but you can contact me there also. So what we will be studying today? So we will be studying the introduction as well as I told you, this is very basic pattern introduction. In the introduction also we will study about the mechanism of action. And we will also study about the systemic effects of benzodiazepines and we will compare the true available drugs that is diazepam and midazolam uh, in different aspects. And also we will discuss about the antagonist, the benzodiazepine antagonist that is flumagenic. Okay. So now coming to the our main lecture, first of all the introduction to the benzodiazepines. See the common agents which are used are diazepam and the Midazolam. There is another drug which are used in veterinary is Jola Japam. But the Jola Japam does not come individually, it comes with a dissociative anesthetic. You know about ketamine, there is another one, Tiletamine. Okay, so it comes in combination with Tiletamine. The famous brand name is Telazol. Okay, remember this one. There is also another product by Joetis and I think Jola Japam like that or jola jol like that so the common agents which are basically we will be studying this in this class are diazepam and the metazolam they are basically used for anti convulsions and uh, muscle relaxators okay they are sedatives i will talk about when i will go for the individual uh, anesthetic the diazepam and metazolam i will tell about in which species they act as sedatives but they are primarily used as anti convulsants if you have watched many series of like good doctor or Grey's anatomy like that you have seen used of the diazepam or midazolam or lorazepam for convulsion of seizures they are very good anti convulsants also when they are pre administered before the administer of ketamine they negate the effect the seizure effect of the ketamine as well as they produce very good muscle relaxation okay now they are very poor analgesics they don't produce much of analgesia and so they are combined with opiates to produce the sedation analgesia now coming to the mechanism of action they act on the GABA receptors gamma amino butyric acid GABA receptors the GABA receptors are uh, located in CNS and the autonomic ganglia they decrease the neuro excitation uh, through GABA there is some anesthetics which acts on GABA okay, you should remember the names we will discuss individually that is barbiturates barbiturates propofol and etomidate ok this is the mechanism of action of benzo benzodiazepines next the systemic effects they are they have very minimal effect on the cardiopulmonary system even they don't change any parameters of cardiopulmonary system or they may change very slightly that is why the benzodiazepines are one of the safest drug one of the safest drug to be used in geriatric patient this was a question in my uh, i think internal or external examination okay so there was a there are four options which drugs are very safe in geriatric patient there was jalazine acipromazine and some barbiturates and there was benzodiazepine the diazepam there so the benzodiazepines are very very safe in case of geriatric patient okay they may increase heart rate and cardiac output when used with ketamine these are basically the effects of ketamine but as a uh, benzodiazepines they don't alter any cardiopulmonary parameters or they may alter very very slightly it is very very minimal now coming to the comparison the two common available drugs the diazepam and the medazolam the left hand side diazepam right hand side is the medazolam 
The diazepam is most widely used while in the contrary, the midazolam is most underutilized though they are nearly equally potent but they are underutilized. The diazepam is water insoluble while the midazolam is water soluble. Being the water insoluble, the, benzene, the diazepam should not be administered IM the intramuscularly. When they are administered intramuscularly, they cause irritation or pain. Also, they are poorly absorbed. Okay, so the bioavailability reduces. Poorly absorbed. In the contrary, midazolam is water soluble, so they can be administered intramuscularly. They can also be administered intravenously. I told you to, to tell you about the sedative effect. The sedative effect of diazepam is basically restricted to the older animals or the geriatric patient, dog and cat or whatever. But the midazolam being more potent than the diazepam, they act as sedative for older animals, geriatric patient as well as small mammals like rabbits, ferrets as well as the swine and bird. I have already a video regarding bird and sesia where I used, uh, I, where I told about the use of metazolam intranasally for sedation in case of birds. I will give the link in the description, you can check them out. Now coming to the dose rate, in case of dog and cat, the pre anesthetic dose rate is 0.3 to 0.5 mg per kg body. Remember when you go for the higher dose rate, 0.5 mg per kg body, especially in dog and cat and more importantly in cat, Okay, they can cause excitation. Okay, so you should be used incautiously in case of cats or use the lower margin. If you are using for seizures or status epilepticus, then you have to use at the dose rate of 0.5 to 1 mg per kg body weight intravenously. Diazepam is used intravenously because they are water insoluble and they uh, absorb poorly absorbed for intramuscular sites. The, in case of horse, you can use 0.05 to 0.1 mg per kg body intravenously. Large animals, that is cattle, you can use at 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kg body weight intravenously. For the midazolam, in case of dog and cat, the intramuscular dose rate is 0.2 to 0.4 mg per kg body weight, while the intravenous dose rate is just the half. In case of peak, the dose rate is 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kg body weight intramuscularly. In case of bird, 0.5 to 1 mg per kg body intramuscularly also you can use intranasally the dose rate is 5.5 mg per kg body weight i already told this one this is a research product of our college odisha veterinary college and uh, you can use intranasally and how to use in that video i have already discussed i will give the link in the description for small mammals like rabbits the dose rate is 0.5 to 1 mg per kg body weight intramuscularly. So, this is the comparison between the diazepam and the midazolam. Now, we will coming to the benzodiazepine antagonist. The availability of antagonists makes it even more safer. First one is they have very minimal effect on the cardiovascular system and second one is the availability of the this antagonist. The only approved drug is the flumagenil. Uh, they, that is used both for the diaz, reversal of the diazepam and the Mida Jolam. See the agonist to antagonist ratio. I already make made a video in the uh, alpha to agonist. The importance of the agonist to the antagonist ratio. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that for this concept how the agonist and antagonist ratio also time relapsation between the given anesthetic when the anesthetic was given or the sedative was given and when you are administering the antagonist. So, diazepam to flumazenil ratio is 26 to 1 while the midazolam to flumazenil ratio is 13 is to 1. I will give a link regarding the agonist to antagonist ratio in the comment section. Uh, this is all about the benzodiazepines. Okay, this is all that you should know about benzodiazepines. There are some more concepts you can read in the Lomban Jones Veterinary Anesthesia and Anesthesia book. So, this is all about today. We discussed the benzodiazepines. Thank you very much. We will meet in next class that is will be about the opioids. So, till then see you tata bye bye. Take care.